What's up guys and welcome back to the Superhero Buzz, where we cover the latest in everything comic book movie related. I am your host Noah and in this video, we are going to break down the ending of No Way Home and what it means for the future of Spider-Man. And it may not be what you expected, but first if you could, hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz and everything comic book movie related. This will also qualify you for my new giveaway, so watch till the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need I say more? Let's dive right in. Now before we begin, I'd like to issue a major spoiler warning. But if you've already seen the film, feel free to continue. Spider-Man No Way Home was amazing, no pun intended. It not only brought together three generations of Spider-Men, but we got to witness the evolution of Tom Spider-Man, where he became the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man that we've all come to adore. And he also got a brand new costume, which appeared to be ripped straight from the comics. I personally think it resembles the PS4 suit, but that's just my opinion. But I think this signifies something bigger. It's the first suit he made without Stark tech, even though he technically had a homemade suit in Homecoming. But that was before he met Stark and became an Avenger. The ending in No Way Home was detrimental to Peter, because after Doctor Strange reversed the spell, everyone forgot who Spider-Man was, including MJ and Ned, which Peter decides not to tell them at the end of the movie, because with great power comes great responsibility. But this further emphasizes how alone he is. He no longer has the help of his loved ones. It creates a sense of vulnerability, especially after witnessing the death of Aunt May. Which means things will be different in the next trilogy. The next three movies will be much darker, hence where the post-credits come into play. Now in order to save you time, I only want to focus on the Venom post credit, which directly correlates to Let There Be Carnage, where we saw Eddie get brought into the MCU. Now a lot of you are wondering why Venom was included with the other villains, because he technically didn't know who Spider-Man was. That's a very valid question, but we did hear Venom say he had billions of years of hive knowledge, which means he probably knew who Spider-Man was, hence why the spell brought Venom into the MCU. But the scene shows Eddie at a tiki bar, where he asks the bartender about the Avengers, which kind of surprises him, because in his universe he's the only hero, or should I say anti-hero. But the moment is short-lived, because once the spell is reversed, he immediately returns to his homeworld with the other villains. But a part of the symbiote stays behind, which we know will eventually bond with Peter. Just like in the comics, we know the next Spider-Man trilogy will be much darker, which is kind of symbolic of Peter bonding with the symbiote. We know he's going to meet Venom at some point, which Sony and Marvel have some huge plans for. And according to our friend Mikey Sutton, Venom will be the main antagonist in Spider-Man 4, with Marvel having full creative control. But we can still go even further, because according to insider Daniel Rittman, Venom 3 will explore the multiverse, where he's set to meet Spider-Man face to face. And so I think that these films will be interconnected. And it also opens the door to other potential crossovers. I'm kind of thinking Morbius. We did see Jared Leto at the LA movie premiere. In fact, Tom Holland has even teased it. But that's a topic for another video. Having said that, what are your thoughts on this? What did you think about No Way Home? And more importantly, what was your favorite scene in the movie? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Now let's get into the giveaway details. I'll be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Buzz t-shirt that is now available in all sizes. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.